Hello friends, this is Srikant and today we will be solving this problem of Lisa's workbook of hacker rank. So the problem statement is Lisa just got a new math workbook and uh, there are n chapters in Lisa's workbook numbered from 1 to n. Ith chapter has ti problems numbered from 1 to ti. Okay, so the numbers are indexed from 1. Each page can hold up to k problems. There are no empty pages or unnecessary pages, unnecessary spaces. So only the last page of a chapter may contain fewer than k problems. Now we have to find uh, uh, a special index. Okay, Lisa believes the problem to be special. So a problem is special if its number within the chap within a chapter if its index within a chapter is the same as the page number where it's located let's look at this example here okay so uh, chapter 1 has four problems chapter 2 has two problems chapter 3 has six problems chapter 4 has one problem and chapter 5 has 10 problems so and k is given as 3 okay so uh, chapter 1 will uh, be spanned to two pages three problems in one page and the other problem is other page so every chapter starts with a new page so chapter will two will begin from the next page that is page number three so chapter two uh, has only two problems so that it will fit in one page and chapter three has six problems so it will take two pages all the uh, three questions in each page okay chapter four uh, and similarly has uh, one page chapter five will have four pages okay since uh, uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 uh, okay now out of all these uh, some problems are considered special if the page number of uh, the uh, chapter the page number has a problem with the same uh, number so, so so the problem here uh, is 1 and the page number is also 1 so it is a special problem similarly for chapter 3 we have uh, problem number 5 in page number 5 so problem number 5 is a special problem similarly we have to find out all the special problems in this uh, workbook okay now the way we will start is like this first n uh, we will scan the inputs n and k first we will declare in, uh, then c in n and k okay now we will uh, create a vector of uh, size n plus 1 okay uh, I'll tell you why so that we can index it from uh, number 1 instead of 0 okay by default uh, vectors are indexed from 0 but we want to start from 1 hence we will create one extra element okay will create a vector say uh, call it as uh, t which is the number of uh, questions in a chapter so for each chapter uh, we will be having a t of i okay now a vector of t of n plus 1 and uh, we'll create another uh, a vector for counting the number of pages in a chapter okay see a cha chapter of n plus 1 similarly okay now we will uh, scan the inputs of for uh, the number of problems in each chapter int i equal to 0 i less than sorry i equal to 1 we will start from 1 i less than equal to n i plus plus okay c in t of i okay so uh, we have scanned all the uh, pro problems in each chapter in this t variable now uh, we'll count the number of pages required for each chapter and store it in the number of pages for chapter so for int i equal to 1 i less than equal to n i plus plus num pages for chapter i 
is equal to what we have to do is uh, so if you have four problems and the number of problems per page is three we'll have two pages right so four divided by three gives you one point uh, three so we have to uh, ceiling it to two so we will take it the uh, take the ceiling of uh, t of i divided by k k is the number of pages so do remember that uh, since both t and uh, k are integers this division will also be an integer so you have to convert it to float first so that it doesn't round off to 1 and the ceiling shows us 1 if we do not do this ok so now we have converted one variable to float the so the calculation will be in floating points so the answer will be 1.3 and the ceiling of this will be 2 ok now we will uh, create a function for getting the special problems in the complete workbook so and we will create call it as num special problems ok and we will pass the uh, number of problems for each chapter and the number of pages required for each chapter ok and uh, we will uh, give n and k pass n and k to this function now we will copy this function ok and uh, we have to return the number of special problems as integers let's say and we have to vector of int t and vector of int will pass it by reference so that there is no extra copy created and uh, we'll take it as integers of n and integer of k ok so there are there will be four parameters to this ok now we have to keep a count of the total number of pages that the workbook will have we'll call it as say page pages ok equal to and we'll start this from one ok and ok yeah so now what we will do is for int i equal to 1 i less than equal to n i plus plus uh, for each chapter ok uh, we will check check for each question we will check whether it is there in a page with the same number ok that is the idea right so what we will do is uh, we are going through this index i will go through all the chapters ok and for int c equal to 1 c less than equal to num pages for chapter i so for each page of this current chapter ok we will go like this ok now what we will do is if this say uh, this is the example so this problem number 5 is there in chapter number 5 so simply uh, what we will do is we will see if pages uh, better to call name it as page number ok number greater than equal to C minus one into K plus one. So 
and I'll explain what we are doing here. And let me complete first and page number less than equal to minimum of C into K comma T of I. Then we have special plus plus. We'll create a special variable to store the number of special pages. Special equal to zero. Initialize it with zero. So this is the most important uh, condition in our uh, calculating the special problems. Okay. So we'll. So this loop is uh, looping through all the chapters and this through all the pages in this chapter okay now if that page is a current page number and uh, what we'll do is this page num will track of the current page okay so by uh, at the starting the page number is one okay so and chapter number one will start from page number one okay now chapter number one will have at least one problem so uh, page number if the page number that is there is greater than equal to c minus one c is the number of pages in this chapter okay so c minus one will be uh, so for our uh, example uh, in the starting uh, say c is equal to one okay and uh, the chapter number one has two uh, pages so it will loop through from one to two okay now the and page number is one okay no so one is uh, greater than equal to uh, k c minus one into k gives you uh, the starting index of the problem in this page okay c minus 1 into k plus 1 okay and uh, the end index in this current page can be found by the maximum number of problem minimum of the maximum number of problems and the number of pages multiplied by k so suppose chapter 1 had uh, say 6 problems uh, then uh, the minimum would have been uh, 6 okay and if uh, the cha since the chapter number one has four problems the min of c into c is currently one and k is uh, uh, three so one into three is three okay and t of i is four so the minimum here will be three okay so this sp specifically gives the starting uh, problem and the ending problem of this current page okay so uh, and if the current page number is in between the starting index and ending index we'll ca call this as a special page special problem okay there is a special problem existing in this page okay so similarly uh, take one more example say in chapter 3 okay so uh, there are two pages of chapter 3 so c will run through 1 to 2 and uh, i is uh, 3 okay now the page number for chapter 3 will will be uh, c is equal to uh, say here c is 1 in the first uh, iteration so this will be 0 into k is 3 is 0 plus 1 so the problem will start from 1 in uh, page number 4 and page number will be 4 okay and uh, it will run through minimum of c into k which is uh, so c is currently 1 so 1 into k is 3 okay so the number of pa problems in this page will be 3 right so 1 into k will be 3 and uh, ti is 6 so the minimum will be uh, 3 
so it will uh, check for if 4 is greater than equal to 1 and 4 is less than equal to 3 which is not therefore there is no special problem in this page uh, run again to the next iteration c is 2 ok so the 2 minus 1 is uh, 1 into 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4 so we have got the starting index of uh, starting problem of uh, page number 5 ok and the ending index will be minimum of uh, c that is 2 into 3 6 and ti which is also 6 so it will be 6 so the starting index is 4 and ending ending index is 6 of problems and f this page number is 5 so 5 no 5 is in between these two therefore we will uh, add a special problem add there is a special problem existing in this index okay Similarly, we will continue to find the rest of the problems and uh, as we are counting, we will return this special variable as the answer and this will print our uh, number of special problems as we are printing it here, ok. There is only one test case, uh, we will try to run this. So the sample test case has passed. We will submit the code and see if all test cases pass. So yeah, it is. All the test cases have passed. Uh, so thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.